Morning Patriots. Last week was a short week. I hope this week is better. Have a great day. This is a reminder for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes meet on Wednesday mornings at 715. You do not have to be an athlete to attend. Reminder, any student can submit artwork they've created in the past year to the Cleveland County Spring Art Show. Simply bring your submissions to Mrs. Hartley before April 1st. It cannot be a tracing and it cannot be a copyrighted character. You can submit one item per category for the following categories, a drawing, a painting, a 3D sculpture, or mixed media. There are cash prizes for first, second, and third place. The actual exhibit is April 23rd to May 20th at the Arts Council in Shelby. You can pick up invitations for the art show from Ms. Hartley as well. Don't forget, Shrek the Musical is playing at KMHS this week. Show times are at 6 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There will also be a 1 p.m. show on Saturday and a 3 p.m. show on Sunday. Hope to see you there. The Patriots boys basketball team had an impressive season. The boys finished 10 to 0 in the East Division of the Tri-County Playoffs against the Crest Dragons on Tuesday and won 51 to 47. Good luck with your next game, boys. Our ninth annual 8th grade career day is approaching fast. This year on March 13th, several people from the real world careers will be coming in to talk with our 8th grade classes about their careers and how education has impacted them. 8th graders, be sure to be here on Friday, March 13th for this great day of learning from real people about real careers. Listen up, 8th graders who attended the Cleveland County Early College High School meeting today, Thursday, February 27th. It is the last day to get your applications to Ms. Hamrick. If something has come up and you don't have your application, please go by and see her. She'll work something out with you. Good luck with your application. How to disagree with people. Not that you need any help. There's lots of stuff to disagree on if you're looking for it. Cake versus pie, apples or oranges, this sports team versus this sports team, which movie stars better, Ryan Goose Baby or Charming Tater? I don't know. Some people even argue for tree. You just standing there, huh? Listen to this opinion. I got an opinion. Who am I to judge, though? Maybe that tree says something about his mama. I'm just saying, some people just get worked up about anything. Even One Direction, you're not all going the same direction anymore. Bye-bye, Zane. Everyone loved you. You broke everyone's heart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some people argue about which animal is better. Cat, dog, elephant, or donkey. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. You're not always going to agree. Even with the most agreeable person in the world. Just saying. Just saying. So look, in a world with so many things to disagree on, we got to learn how to disagree without making everybody feel terrible. Step one, treat people like they're people, people. I know, seems pretty simple. But in a heated argument, you can forget that you're talking to a person, a human being, someone who has a heartbeat. Unless you're arguing with a tree, um, that's, that's a whole other problem. I can't help you there. Step two, listen, listen, listen. Listen, before trying to change someone's opinion, take time to listen to them, even if what they say does not make sense. That's the power of treating someone like a person. You gotta hear them out. You got two ears and one nose for a reason. You gotta listen more than you smell. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Keep listening. Step three, pause, breathe, love. When you disagree, you're gonna want to do some crazy stuff, like yell, or write and release a whole entire album outlining that you're right and they're wrong. Don't do it. Instead, you gotta pause, breathe, love. It's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be mean. Don't say it until you can say it with love. There's plenty of legit stuff to be mad at in the world. This life stuff, it's hard. Let's not just spend our time here being mad at each other. You don't have to see eye to eye to work shoulder to shoulder, people. Step four. Are you stuck in an argument? Distract them. Look, I know we don't see eye to eye, but baby koalas are awesome. But we weren't talking about that. Did you see it? Yeah. Three words. Baby koalas. That's two words. All you want to do is disagree. Just enjoy the koala babies, man. Baby koalas bring peace. Step five. Acceptance. Here's something you gotta accept. Not everybody's the same, and that's a good thing. I mean, imagine the world with just full of Rain Wilsons. Nightmare, right? 
I'm just kidding, Graham Williams. You're a beautiful and amazing specimen. <laughs> I'm just saying, we need variety. We need disagreement. We may not like it, but we need each other. We just gotta learn to be more awesome to each other. It's like what Nelson Mandela said. If you wanna make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. And then he becomes your partner. And then there's Gandhi, he said, honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. I mean, both of them have disagreements with people. Well, it's not always easy, but they try to treat people like they're people, people. We can also look to the words of somebody else. The amazing Pokemon, Meow. We do have a lot in common. The same air, the same earth, the same sky. Maybe if we start looking at what's the same, instead of always looking at what's different. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's from the Pokemon movie. So it has to be true. It is true, you know it is. Grown-ups, we kids have been watching you. We've been learning how to disagree with people by watching you. We've seen some healthy disagreements and also lots of um, recent disagreements. Nobody wins when all we want to do is win. We got a whole world to make more awesome. No time to be yelling back and forth to each other. Maybe we should stop, breathe, love. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. We can disagree, but we can't let it make us forget. Step six. Dance. <laughs> Ooh, some mail. Dear Key Preston, your voice has changed. Will you be Key President forever? I won't always be a kid. Guess you're gonna have to just stay tuned and see what happens next, you know? That's how life works. Thank you, people.